Kids and have some fun. Who, me? Say, wouldn't I look just too sweet playing with them baby toys? Think you're all grown up and tough, huh? What do you think? I think you're all right, kid. You know that. Nobody's going to push you around any more than they're going to push me. <laughs> Nothing to be alarmed over, Mr. Brown. Gee, that's what you call flying, huh? I wonder what Tailspin will say. Hey, you kids, watch out what you're doing out there. They haven't started bombing Americans yet. But if they wait until Tompkins' scouts of the air go up, they're apt to get a mighty warm reception. Air scouts? Oh, oh, you mean those kids with the model planes, eh? Yeah, it's a flying club Tompkins got up, and they are using our field. And it's a good idea, too, Mr. Brown. Tommy says it's as natural for kids today to want to fly as to swim or play football. He's teaching them the rudimentary ideas of flying. And he says it may save time. And maybe lives, too, oh, someday. Excuse me, Betty Lou, but I think you're overselling Mr. Brown. And he may not think it necessary to pay his taxes for the support of the Army and the Navy. <laughs> well, Tompkins will be in with your payroll money in a few minutes. Never have to worry when he's on the job. Is that why he's flying transports today? No, not exactly. The regular pilot wasn't feeling well. But a trip now and then helps Tompkins keep his hand in. I suppose so. And with that much money on board and cold, hard cash, it's wise to have a good man at the control. Here comes Tailspin. Yeah, we better scram. You know what Tommy said about keeping the field clear, the planes to land. Where do I get my ship? I tell you kids about keeping the field clear. Johnny didn't do it, Tommy. On the level. We were obeying your orders that Whitey Lewis picked up Johnny's plane and threw it right out in front of you. Johnny couldn't help it, honestly, Tommy. That's right, Tommy. It was that Lewis kid. I saw him. Where is he? Right over there. Beat it, kid. I got a special reason for not wanting no trouble around here right now. He ought to have a good punch in the nose. Here's a buck. I'll be back tomorrow or the next day. Now get going. Okay, Mike. But I just don't want that stuffed eagle to think he can make me go. Go on, get out of here. Here you are, Mr. Brown. 
Sign right here and the money's all yours. Thank you, Tompkins. Don't thank me. This is one time it's a pleasure to get rid of money. Yes, and I'll feel the same when I deliver it to my construction crew up at the dam. I don't like to think about that five-hour drive. It's a mighty rough country between here and there. That's right. Well, good luck. Thanks, Paul. You know, Ash, if you had a landing field up at your camp, I'd talk to you about a deal for Tompkins to fly the payroll all the way. Then you wouldn't have any worry. Maybe not, but Tompkins would. A forced landing up in that country would mean a nasty crack-up. Well, you let us worry about that. We could transfer the money to a small plane here and have it up there in a little more than an hour. Mm, well, maybe a few tractors could clear a landing field. Worth thinking about. All right, think it over. Good luck again. Good luck, Paul. So long again, Tompkins. So long. Oh, Stephen, be ready to move fast. I'm stuck. I guess my battery's dead. Will you see if you can get me started? Up with them. Get out of the car. Step on it. They plugged our tire. So you had this job all figured out so it couldn't mess, eh? Yeah, yeah. How was I... Never mind. Get that tire changed. We've got to get out of here. Yeah. This country will be plenty hot as soon as that guy gets to a phone. You're right, Mike. You know, Paul, that one attempt to hold me up sold me on flying. I've had every spare tractor up at the camp for the last two weeks grading that landing field and it's ready. Well, then Tompkins can make the first trip tomorrow. And be welcome to the job, Paul, believe me. Say, you didn't get a good description of those thugs, did you? No, everything worked too fast. For all I know, one of them might have looked like little Annie Rooney. <laughs> well, they'll have to chase Tompkins pretty high to hijack him. How much you get for this, Cap? This is two dollars, Sonny. It's one of the best kits I've got in the shop. I ain't got that much. I only have a dollar. <laughs> but I have lots of kits for a dollar. Now, like this pursuit ship here. No, I don't want.